Iron, iron, iron. People ask, where do I get my iron? A lot of people take iron supplements because that's what they're told to do. But iron's in almost everything. If you think you're low in iron or have been told you're low in iron, you probably already have enough iron in your body. It's probably just not absorbing properly. That's all. Do you even know what iron does? Most people don't. It combines with proteins and copper to produce hemoglobin, which carries oxygen through the body. Iron deficiency means well, you're tired a lot, dry hair, you can't think clearly, muscle weakness, of course anemia. Iron strengthens immunity, it helps wound healing, and it's important for women using contraceptive drugs and during pregnancy. It keeps hair color young, eyes bright, and the body strong. But did you know that too much iron is actually toxic? for the body and bad for you, free unbound iron is a strong pro-oxidant and can be toxic at high levels. Iron overload is linked to some cancers, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and gland malfunctions. Most people have more than enough iron in their body. Ah, but the test showed they were low. That doesn't mean you don't have enough iron in your body, it just means it's not absorbing properly or it's leaking out. And then there's a lot of things that block iron from absorbing, like calcium. Calcium's in a lot of food, and it blocks absorption of iron, as will oxalates, kale, spinach, stuff like that. And then there's phytates in food. You know, that's why, contrary to popular belief, spinach isn't really that good a source of iron, because the oxalic acid in the spinach binds a lot of the iron in the spinach, making it unusable. Ascorbic acid, that cheap white powder stuff that they make in a lab that they call vitamin C, blocks iron absorption, whereas the plant-based herbal vitamin C, on the other hand, will increase iron absorption and help anemia. So take some herbal vitamin C with your meals. Certain acids found in some foods also enhance the absorption of various minerals. Oh, and stay away from coffee and tea during meals because the tannins in those uh, things, those drinks, they block iron absorption. Acids like apple cider vinegar help digestion and absorption. Um, and older people usually have too much iron because their body can't get rid of it efficiently anymore. And excess iron is a problem for the body since it can feed certain bacteria, promote oxidative damage, and cause constipation. Men in particular, uh, and women after menopause, are the highest risk since the body no longer is able to efficiently get rid of the excess iron. If older people are low in iron, sometimes the cause is internal bleeding or hemolytic anemia. One test for this is testing for blood in the stool, and a common cause of internal bleeding is the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. And other causes, parasites, because parasites love iron. <laughs> and yeast that's turned into fungus from gluten, wheat and flour products, sugar, bread. And they, they puncture little holes in the intestinal walls, leaky gut, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, IBS. But for most people, the most likely cause is low stomach acid which is needed for absorption of minerals and vitamins. Stomach acid decreases with age. Once you hit 40, it just starts going down from there for most unhealthy people. All right, so what has iron in it? Almost everything, all kinds of fruits, greens, nuts, walnuts, pistachio, coconut, Brazil nuts, veggies, hell, even iron, uh, onion and garlic has iron in it. And of course there's beet roots, we all know that, but did you know that sea vegetables like sea moss is 10 times more iron than spinach and it's highly absorbable? And then there's many herbs. They're a good source of natural plant-based iron, like nettle leaf, for example, is a good source of non-constipating iron, along with alfalfa, dandelion, burdock, yellow dock, watercress. You can find some of those in the grocery store. And they're also all in my green formula. You know, they're, it's, that's my multivitamin. Again, you don't have to buy it. Just go out in your lawn, get your own dandelions, your own nettle leaf, whatever. But simply taking something because you're lacking something is not necessarily always the answer. Because that's like a balloon losing air because it's got a hole in it, and you're spending all your energy trying to blow up the balloon, where actually what you should be doing is just patching up the hole. You probably have more than enough iron in your diet, so the issue would be, one, is it leaking out, you know, ulcer, leaky gut, or two, is it absorbing, low stomach acid. A major cause for both is stress, burned out adrenals, and improper sleep. We, sh we should be asleep by 10 o'clock because healing hormones are released between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. We need to be asleep for that to happen. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people who go to bed too late or don't get enough sleep have dark circles under their eyes in the next day. Iron. 
Of course, money problems, relationship problems, and other life frustrations can create an underlying chronic stress situation that robs the body of its ability to make proper stomach acid and sleep hormones. That's why I created the night formula, so it helps you sleep, helps with the hormones. Stomach acid can also be helped by taking some kind of acid with every meal, like apple cider vinegar, lemon, lime. Um, also, stomach acid requires B-complex, which my green formula has a lot of. Uh, some sea salt, and you need 50 milligrams of zinc. P take it with a meal, otherwise you're going to feel nauseous. And also bitter herbs like watercress, endive, dandelion. The more bitter, the better. The more stomach acid you make, the better the digestion is helped and the better the iron absorbs. So, less sweet stuff and more bitter things and more greens. And apples help iron absorb better than any other food. Not apple juice, apples, like the tart green kind, especially because they have high malic acid. And go out and get sunlight. Sunlight is great. It helps the blood absorb the iron. It helps the iron go through your body. It helps give you a tan look. You need sunlight to help absorb iron in your body. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get my sun and I'm gonna feel better because of it. And, um, and if you like what I do, if you think this is helping in any way, go thumbs up, tell your friends about it. Uh, you know, get the word out there because people need to be healthier. People don't know how to be healthy. They need to learn this stuff. You know, they eat their junk food, then they get sick, and then they complain, and then they whine, and then they just want some quick little fix thing. But, you know, it is what it is. I try to tell them all the time, but they don't listen. Oh, they don't listen. They have to do their own thing. You know, it is. They just get sick, and they say, help me, help me. But I don't know. You know, I tell them all the time. I say, this is what you do, but they don't do it. Just milk and their sugar. But hey, nobody listens.